Never Stop Learning, week 302. We're gonna take a quick look at how to create color swatches from an image in Adobe Illustrator CC 2017. All right, so this is actually some workflow stuff here. I was working on this mock-up earlier in the week and I wanted to have some swatches based off of the colors that this shirt is available in. So what I did, I went over to that company's website and I took a screen grab of all the swatches that are available for this shirt. Now, I still have to bring them into my swatches panel. So let's bring up the swatches panel. In the window menu, just scroll through until you find swatches. All right, when you click on that, it's gonna bring up the swatches panel for you. All right, so notice those colors don't exist in here. Now, there's a couple different ways to work, maybe using the eyedropper tool, but I think I have a faster way. All right, it's gonna be an old school option that you've probably skipped over before. All right, I've got my image selected over here at the top in the object menu. I'm gonna scroll through to find create object mosaic. When you click on that, it's gonna bring up this window here. All right, so with create object mosaic, in the top left, it shows you the current size. On the top right, you could actually convert it to a new size. All right, over here for number of tiles, currently I have 12 and seven. So 12 is gonna be for 12 tiles going across, because that's what I have here. And for the height, it's set to seven because I have seven tiles going vertically. Over here for tile spacing, this actually isn't needed, but I wanted to show you how this works anyway. So notice there's a little bit of spacing in between these tiles. Well, after playing around a bit, I know that it's two pixels. So I'll go ahead and enter that. Now for your options, I'm gonna leave it set to constraint ratio for width. Over here for result, you wanna make sure you have it set to color, not gray. And over here for these last two features, now it says resizing using percentages. I'm not gonna do any resizing. And over here for delete raster, I actually want to leave the raster so we can compare with our new objects. All right, so I'm gonna click OK. All right, now when I click and drag, it shows us both sets, all right? Selected, I have my new set. And the other set over here above, that's just the screen grab from the company's website. All right, so I'm gonna undo that, just kind of offset these guys a little bit. And let's see what's going on in here. All right, so once we zoom in, you notice that our bitmap image has some pixelation going on in there. So there's many values of those colors in that square. Illustrator's done a really good job of averaging out those colors and giving us one solid choice. All right, and you can see it's done that for all the different colors available. And I'm pretty happy with that, that looks great. Now, it's time to bring these colors into the swatches panel. All right, I'm gonna deselect my artwork and jump into the swatches panel. Over here on the top right, you have this flyout menu. And because I don't have a selection, I have this option here, add used colors. If I click on that, it's gonna add all the colors that are used in this document. All right, so I'll come back over here, select my artwork, go back into the flyout menu. Now when I have something selected, it says add selected colors. So you could actually just pinpoint which colors you wanna bring in here. All right, so I'm gonna add selected colors and all those colors get loaded into my swatches panel. Even better, those colors are global colors. So that means if I have to make any edits, it's gonna be a lot easier because I could just make the change in the swatches panel. All right, so now I have my new swatches. All I have to do is select my T-shirt and I could pick any of the colors that are available on this company's website. All right, so there you have it folks. That's a quick look at how to create color swatches from an image in Adobe Illustrator CC 2017.